Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. Let's take one more example. In this question, we have to apply a little brain. The question says that we have to show that relation in uh, the set A, points in a plane given by point P. Distance of point from origin, this is, a, this is my origin, that is 0, 0. From this point, you take a point P, you take a point Q, right? So if you take this distance, this distance, and this distance is same. So any such point, right? There are so many points like that, for which the distance from center is same. So you took so many points like this. So the question says that we have to prove that this is an equivalence relation, and also we have to prove that if you take all these points, it becomes a circle. So to prove it is an equivalence relation, we have to prove that it is uh, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. For reflexive, I have to prove that a comma is member of this. That means, let's suppose if there's a point A here, the distance of point A from center and distance of point from A from center are same. Correct? The distance of point A from center and distance of point A from center is same. Had this been been uh, greater than, then this would have been a difficult scenario. But this is the same one. It says the relation says same, the distance is same. So distance of point A from center and distance of point of A from center is same. So this is reflexive, that is A comma is there. For symmetric, I am saying if A comma B exists, then B comma A also should exist. A comma B says that, if A comma B exists, it says that distance of point A from center and distance of point B from center is same. That also means distance of point B from center and distance of point A from center is same. See, it's all same, same English, just we have changed the wordings. Distance of point A and distance of point B is same. This also means distance of point B is equal to distance of point A. Same thing. It is flipped it, flipping box here. So it is symmetric also. Correct. Now for this correct, this correct. For transitive, I have to say that A comma B is member, B comma C is member, this will imply A comma C is member of this. So when I am saying that A and B are equidistant from center and B and C are equidistant from center, that means all A, B and C are equidistant from center. That means A and C are equidistant from center. That means A, C is the member of this set. So transitive also holds true. Since all these three holds true, that means it is an equivalence relation, first part. Now if you observe that, all the points if you take, all the points related to point P, where P is not equal to 0, you take all the points, you will get a circle only with center as the origin. If you take all, if you uh, uh, combine all these points, if you join all these points, you get circle. Because circle also by definition is nothing but uh, as a locus, it's a set of all points that are equidistant from one point. In this case, it is center. Let's take one more example. This is a little different question. It says that we have set of all triangles T1, T2 and the relation is T1 is similar to T2. If this relation is true, that means it is part of that set. We have to prove that it is an equivalence relation. So prove again to for equivalence relation, we have to prove that this is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. For reflexive, I told that T1 and T1 should be member of this. That is same number. So I know that triangle T1 is similar to triangle T1. You are both a similar triangle only. That is true. So reflexive is true. For symmetric, I told that if I take T1, T2 is a member. Then T2, T1 is also should be the member of the set. If I am saying T1, T2 is a member, that means I am saying T1 is similar to T2. Correct? So when I am saying T1 is similar to T2, this implies T2 is similar to T1. Similar to T1. 
both are same right t1 is similar to t2 that means t2 is similar to t1 if t2 is similar to c1 i can say that t2 comma t1 is part of the set so this is symmetric also for transitive also i told right if t1 and t2 is member of this uh, relation t2 and t3 is member of this relation this should imply that t1 and t3 is member of this relation t1 comma t3 also so i am saying that t1 t2 are in relation that means t1 is similar to t2 t2 and t3 are relation that means t2 is similar to t3 that means all the three triangles are similar if all these three triangles are similar i can say that t1 is similar to t3 if t1 is similar to t3 i can say that t1 t3 are part of the set if t1 t3 are part of the set they are transitive also since they are reflexive symmetric and transitive i can say that it is an equivalence relation first part is done now the question says we have to consider three right triangles t1 is side 3 t1 is side 3 4 5 t2 with sides 5 12 13 and t3 is side 6 8 we have to find which of these triangles are related or we have to find which of these triangles are similar so if we take t1 t2 see the combination can be t1 t2 t1 t3 or t t3 so we have only three options to compare t1 with t2 t1 with t3 or t2 with t3 so when i compare t1 with t2 the first case what i get t1 by t2 by compare the sides i get this is 3 by 5 this is 4 this by 12 and this is 5 by 30 so what i see that 3 by 5 is not equal to 4 by So it is not equal to five by thirty. So they are not related. Then, if I am comparing T one and T three sides, I see this is three, this is six, this is four, this is eight, this is five, and this is ten. You see, everything is one by two. Three by six, one by two, four by eight, one by two, five by ten, one by two. So I can see that they are related. If I am comparing two and three, let me compare here. T two by T three sides. What I get five six twelve eight thirteen ten. If you see here also the ratio is not same. The ratio is not same. They are also not related. So the only two triangles that are related are T one and T three, and that is maths. Let's take one more question. The question says L with the set of all parallel lines in X Y plane, and R B the relation defined as uh, L one and two, where L one is parallel to L two. So there are so many parallel lines that is part of this relation. We have to prove that is equal equivalence relation. So for equivalence relation again, uh, RST, a reflexive symmetry and transitive, has to be true. For reflexive, we have to prove that L1 and L1 are member of this set. That is, line L1 is parallel to sorry, L1 is parallel to line L1. That is true. Any line is parallel to itself, so it is reflexive. Done. For symmetric, I am to say that if L1 L2 is member of the set, then L2 L1 should also be member of the set. That is, if I am saying L1 is parallel to L2, this automatically implies actually L2 is parallel to L1. Correct? Same thing. So if L2 is parallel to L1, this means L2 L1 is part of the set. This is symmetric also. For transitive, I am saying if L1 L2 is part of the set and L2 L3 is part of the set, this should imply. L1 and L3 is part of the set. So now, if L1 and L2 is part of set, I am saying that L1 is parallel to L2. If L2 and L3 is part of set, I am saying L2 is parallel to L3. That means all these three lines are parallel. L1, L2, and L3. If all three lines are parallel, I can say that L1 is parallel to L3. If L1 is parallel to L3, I imply that L1 comma L3 is part of the set because L1 is parallel to L3. It is L1 comma L3 is part of the set. If L1 comma L3 is part of the set, it is transitive. So I prove that. It is an equivalence relation. Now my question says we need to find the set of all lines that are related to y is equal to two x plus four. So if you see this, y is equal to m x plus c is the equation of line. That m is the slope. Here m is two and c is zero. Now to find the general equation of this line, this parallel to this line, I just need the slope. Slope is two. So the general equation of line, this parallel to this line, is y is equal to m x plus c. Where m is two, two x plus c. 
So I can say that general equation is y is equal to 2x plus c. Any line which is in this format is parallel to this line. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.